So, I've been watching the trailer of Pokemon Scars and Violence recently, and it got me thinking. Pokemon's been moving further away from what I want for a long time. It's not a bad thing. Most games aren't made specifically for me. Well, except Elden Ring and E.T. for the Atari 2600. <laughs> Anything should be open world as Pokemon. Imagine a Pokemon game like the anime or the manga. Imagine if it wasn't on the GameCube. A lot has been sacrificed on the altar of ugly graphics. Remember back when we used to have an Astrolex? Remember when we had a post game? It's telling that a remake of a game from 2006 doesn't fit in the entire post game. Happened twice, actually. Yeah, I know, these are both intended to be remakes of the original version. But if the definitive version of a game exists and you remake the prototype version that no one liked quite as much, well, that's like a car company releasing the latest horse-drawn carriage. Remember when we used to get an entire remake as a post-game? Could you imagine that happening nowadays? No, because we need our 16th render of Dunsparce in 3D. For reasons. <laughs> oh god, I'm going to hell for making this, aren't I? Does anyone play Pokemon for the graphics? Come on, show of hands. Pokemon looks kind of terrible. It's always looked kind of terrible, but no one cared. At least, I didn't care. I played Pokemon for the Pokemon. But now, with each game, there's no telling whether I'll be able to port over my beloved Battle Bond Greninja. Named, what that tongue do? Obviously. Will Jiraiya the Pokemon be in the next Pokemon game? Will Pikachu? Who knows? More empty skyboxes and hideous water textures to go around. I love the new Pokemon games. They're really fun. I'm not mad. I'm confused. It's like watching a master chef try to impress you by eating an entire mahogany bench. This is not your strong suit. Please, just go back to cooking. Jesus. Gods, can you imagine if Pokemon reused its engines? Once they finished Pokemon Black 2, they'd given their dev team a break. Just to remake Sinnoh or Hoenn or patch it in as DLC. Could you imagine the sales? God, could you imagine how little it would have cost to make those games? Reused engine, reused plot, everyone would have loved it. I speculate. <laughs> it would have cost so little to make, I'm just giving these ideas away on the side of the street like a shilling whore. But don't worry, instead, we get a remake of Pokemon Diamond, a game which already has a remake which received universal positive acclaim. Why? Because it was bigger than Diamond, it expanded on all the ideas, the worlds, the promises the first game made. And it could do that, it could have more content. Why? Because it reused the art assets from the original games. Don't tell Game Freak that you know this, but they reused the 3D models a whole bunch. But whatever amount of art they are reusing, it is clearly not enough, because they still can't deliver all of the Pokémon in one game. Even doing a partly original 3D world is crippling them. No, take that mahogany table out of your mouth! Game Freak, no! Pixel art suited Pokemon so well, its deliberate low resolution gave it a charm and a style like Wind Waker, where upping the graphics just drives the series right off the edge into the uncanny valley. And so what if Pokemon has crippled itself for years with 3D graphics? The Pokemon models look pretty alright now, they don't animate very well, but that's okay, we can lower our standards. The models are done! But it doesn't help, because not all the models are done, they still haven't even finished all of the Pokemon, let alone animating them. No, oh, instead we get this ghastly middle ground where the Pokemon look kind of alright and the world is just desolate and lonely and sad. The reason people want an open world Pokemon game is because the promise of Pokemon is a world teeming with life and whimsy and adventure. Like on the third day, God decided to bollocks Whoosh. off and left Wes Anderson and Hayao Miyazaki in charge. Because imagine in 10 years, by some miracle, they finished making all the Pokemon models, and all the new Pokemon models, and they actually animated them. It still wouldn't help, because the world and the people in it would be empty and sad and strange. Made all the worse for having all these beautifully realized Pokemon to fill what amounts to an empty shoebox of a stage. Wouldn't be a good horror game, though. What I'm saying is a game does best when it plays within its constraints. Whoosh. Dark Souls world is also desolate and empty, but that's the point. They know they couldn't fill it with lifelike NPCs, so they made all the NPCs really, really weird and sparse, and they filled them in this bizarre, empty, sad world, and it hits so well. But that's not the vibe Pokemon wants. Pokemon needs to have stuff in it. Whoosh. It needs adventure and fun. Something I've only been able to deliver in the 2D games. Because it was cheaper and easier, like your mum. Hilariously, this is a reoccurring problem for Nintendo. They do this a lot. They tried VR back in the days when it was two colors and caused constant vomiting. Now we have many colors. I'd love an open world Pokemon game that delivered on that promise. I also love steak, but that doesn't mean I want to stick an entire cow in my mouth. Sometimes I, and I assume a lot of fans, are happy to wait until the product is ready. Basically what I'm saying is the new Pokemon game should be developed by George R. R. Martin. Whoosh.